Hello. There. Just slightly. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear uh, me? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Good. <laughs> We're in. We're good to go. <laughs> okay. Now, how do I see people? I, I don't, I haven't been able to. Okay. So there's three people on now. It's oh, good. I'm glad you can see it. Okay. Um, yeah. And because uh, last time I was thinking maybe we had it set up wrong that you couldn't, but I'm glad you can see it. That'll be yes. good. I, I think um, maybe I was pushing the wrong thing, but now I can see. That's good. Good deal. I had a, a light bulb that burned out before I just changed it. It was really dark in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was thinking, wow, nobody's going to be able to see me at all. So I took it from upstairs and brought it down. <laughs> They're dark up there, but they'll be okay. <laughs> I do that a lot too. If I if a light bulb burns out, I'll just switch it with something else. Right, something you don't normally use. Yeah. <laughs> I know we have some in this house. I just don't know where they are. My husband's not <laughs> home, so I have to make sure I have my own. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many people do you think? Um, well, it looks like we only have one on so far, but I'm sure, I mean, we still have another six minutes. Yeah. Um, and since whenever they register, it's over the six week course, it's hard to say exactly how many will be at tonight's session, but right. Um, guess we'll see, but we can get yeah. started at seven either way, I think. Okay, all right, perfect.
started in another couple minutes. If there's anything next week anybody wants to work on, if you would like to work on stretching through your hip flexors or your lower back, if there's anything specific you want to work on for next week, just drop me a message and we'll do that. Usually we get through a lot. We work through your whole body, but it's kind of nice to just focus on one thing, just concentrate on one thing a little longer. So, just about 30 more seconds and we'll get started tonight. So I was very active this weekend and I ran a 5k on Saturday morning. I had MMA today and I'm pretty sore. So this will feel really good. So let's sit in a very comfortable position. We're going to take one foot in front of the other. If you have your legs crossed, you can also take them straight out in front of you. So glad you're back for our fourth session out of six in our beginner series for GBU. Let's take your shoulders back and just start to relax and allow the muscles in your face to relax, your jaw. Good, with these circles, they're getting a little bigger here. Taking straight back and down. And let's add the arms now. So cross in front, take it all the way around. And we start to breathe. So let's inhale as you lift the arms, exhale as you lower. That might slow your circles down, and it may not. Remember your belly's expanding. Let's reach your arms overhead and reach through the side body one step at a time. Nice. Let's take your hands down and start to crawl forward. So we can start to stretch through the muscles of your lower back. Let's crawl the hands back and now crawl to your left. Crawling out, getting the elbows as close to the floor as you can. Crawling back nice and slow and let's take it on the right. Let's feel that. Then walking back, let's take the left arm overhead and stretch a little further over on each side. Nice job. Also, if you had a day like I did, stress is relieved. Every time you stretch your muscles, you should feel a little release and tension. Good, let's take your hands behind you. Stretching through your chest now. Allow your shoulders to relax and make space between your ears and your shoulders. Drop your chin to your chest. And maybe bending your knees now, taking your hands behind the legs. And let's take cat cows sitting. So we're rounding through your back, your chin comes to your chest, we're exhaling. We're inhaling, arch through your back, lift your chin up, relax your shoulders. Good, exhale. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. And we inhale. Now let's take both hands on your mat and the knees. So we're on hands and knees in tabletop. Your spine is long. Start to rock, spreading your fingers, pressing your toes into your mat. You take circles. Just move any way that feels good here. And let's press down with all 10 toes and all 10 fingers, pressing into your mat, pulling your belly button to your back, and concentrate on lengthening your spine. So we have a pelvic tilt here, your glutes and your abs are tight, pressing through the hands. This is an active pose. And you wouldn't know it if someone was looking at you, but you're really pressing through the mat. You're pressing your toes down, your belly's tight. Good. Now let's take your left hand. We're gonna coax that left shoulder down towards your mat as you feed that left hand over to the right side. Keeping your hips up in the air if you're able to. You should feel that nice stretch through your upper back. And if you're able to here, we're taking your right leg straight out with the hand. So you can start to press that foot out just a little. Getting a little deeper into the upper back and the inner thigh. Roll that foot back in, release, and take that same leg back behind you. So we're crossing behind the left leg. Nice. Now take your gaze and gently look back at the foot, gently pressing your right hip out. You should feel that nice stretch, that nice lateral stretch through the right side. Good, let's release. Back to hands and knees, back to that strong position. And now we're taking the right hand and feeding it through the left side. Your right shoulder is coming down to your mat. Just rest in that pose here for a few breaths. And now we're adding the left leg straight out with the hand. You don't have much room, but you probably do. <laughs> you can stay there. Deep breaths here. Start to crawl that foot back in. Release that position and take the left foot back behind you. So we're crossing. Taking your gaze slowly and looking back toward the left foot. Oh yeah, that feels really good. Deep breaths here. Still pressing the palms in. Release nice and slow and then take the knee back to your mat. Good, rock the hips back and forth. And let's roll the toes under. So today we are gonna work on a couple balance poses on the mat. We're gonna work on bear a little bit. So your toes will be rolled under. So we're gonna start there now, rolling your toes under and moving back toward your heels and back to tabletop. Stretching through the muscles of your feet. Good. Let's exhale as we settle back. Inhale forward. Nice job. Now let's add downward dog and plank. 
You're also more than welcome to stay there. Remember, yoga is whatever is feeling good to your body at this moment. This week, you might have more energy than you did last week. May not, and that's okay. Now let's meet in downward dog. Pedal your heels. As you pedal, baby rocking your hips side to side. Let's bend the right knee as you're pressing the right underarm towards your mat. Your gaze goes to the left. Left heel is pressing down a little more, lifting your hip a little higher. And switching sides. Bend the left knee, press the left underarm down along with the right heel. Job, pedal if you need it, and let's come forward into your plank. You may also do modified plank. We're lowering your belly to your mat. So come down slowly, your elbows are at your side in Chaturanga. Hands under your shoulders, and we lift in baby cobra. In baby cobra, your hips stay on your mat. Let's inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, maybe a little higher. Exhale, and lower. Come back to your tabletop. Now our first bouncing pose on the mat is a little challenging. Again, if someone saw you doing it, they wouldn't think it was a big deal, but it is hard to do. So we're crawling your right hand forward, reaching out in front, taking your left foot straight back, and we have that flex. So your shoulders and your hips are square to your mat. Now from here, we're gonna take right elbow back in a goal post position and think about bringing that knee the opposite knee to the outside in a goal post position so that foot is still flexed we're holding there your abs are tight and then straighten back out drop down nice job crawl the left hand out reach and take the right foot back so opposite hand and leg. Take the arm by your side in that goal post position and bring the knee out to the side. So it's almost like you're dragging your knee and your elbow along a table and reach out. Nice job. Let's drop down, back to our downward dog, rocking your hips. And let's start off by walking your hands back toward your feet. Here you're trying to keep your knees as straight as you can. Head relax and crawl slowly forward into downward dog. Again, crawling back. We're doing this two more times. If you're not able to keep your knees straight, you can bend. Definitely working on upper body strength here. That way you can get stronger to hold downward dog and to hold planks. Come down slower and more controlled in Chaturanga when we're lowering to our mat and walking back out to downward dog. Wonderful job. Let's take toes to touch, and the right foot is forward in, right in the center of the hands. We're gonna take a little pulse here, if that feels good, lifting your chest. And of course, if you have blocks, you're more than welcome to use them under your hands if you need. 
or take your hands on your leg if you can't get down that low. Little pulses here. So let's take your right foot back into downward dog and your left foot forward into that lunge and that nice pulse. Remember, you can be down low, up high, wherever you need to be. And let's take your right foot up to meet your left. Relax your head now, we're shaking it gently in whatever way feels good and relaxing. Let's hinge from your hips, lifting up. And we inhale at the top, hands in prayer, diving forward into your forward fold. Relax your head, hinge from your hips and lift. We'll do this a few times. Take them at your own pace. Just let your breath guide you. So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time, inhale up. And we meet at the top with our hands in prayer right at your heart. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. You're breathing deeply. You're pressing your toes into your mat. You're squeezing your belly and your glutes here. Deep breaths. Let's settle back now into your chair. So sitting back in that chair, raising your arms above your head. Nice, inhale, raise up, exhale and sit back. Just keeping the arms overhead now, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. At the top now, we take a slight back then. Keep it here, keep your tailbone safe by taking that pelvic tilt forward and that neutral tailbone. I want you to drop your right arm. We're looking over to the right side. Pretend someone's pulling that right hand down and pulling the left hand up. So bring that right arm up and drop the left hand down. Your gaze goes to the left now up a little higher and take both hands above your head grab that slight back bend take your hands to your heart dive all the way down now rock from the balls of your feet to your heels slowly walk your hands to the outside of your right foot and now to the outside of the left foot. And back to the middle. Let's take our toes to touch, bringing feet together, bringing the right leg back. So we're coming up in crescent lunge. Make sure you stay as low as you can. That back leg is lifting up. Good. Let's go into warrior two. So I am facing you. Warrior two, your arms are strong, but your shoulders are relaxed. You have that pelvic tilt. Keep that knee stacked over your ankle. Beautiful. You're looking over the left hand if your left foot is in front. Let's flip the palm and reverse that warrior. So we're leaning back. Your gaze is up at the ceiling or down at your right foot. Either way, relax the shoulders. If you need to, you can get a little deeper into that stretch. Bring that arm back a little more. Let's cartwheel the hands on either side of the left foot. Pivot on the back foot, bring the right up to meet the left, and let's 
push through the heels, hinge from your hips, inhale, lift up, exhale, dive down, inhale, hinge, exhale, dive, inhale, and exhale, and stay down, toes to touch, taking your left foot back, into your crescent lunge, raise your arms up, head. Wonderful. Challenge yourself to get a little deeper. And I am facing away from you. I will twist to the left. Your right leg is in front, you're twisting to the left. You're looking over that right hand. Keep this warrior strong. You're breathing. Let's flip the pump, lean back, reverse that warrior. Hold here, nice and strong. Now remember that front knee, it can straighten a little if you can't keep that deep bend, but if you can, hold it here. Now let's take the arm back slightly. And cartwheel the hands on either side of the right foot. Bring the left foot to meet the right. Relax your head down. Toes to touch. And let's try a little sway here. So this does definitely challenge your balance. So if you need your feet apart a little, you can take them apart or together. We're grabbing opposite elbows. Just relax your head and we start to sway. Right and left. If you need more, you can take your arms behind your knees, bending the knees and holding here, finding stillness. Keeping your head relaxed. And release. Now in this position, may not be comfortable. And if you're not, you can come down to your knees. We're gonna work on a little bit of wrist flexibility. So your wrists are really important. You use them all the time. It's really important to have them limber and have those joints limber at all times, especially as we get older. So we'll take your hands now. The back part of your hand, you're pressing into your mat. Your knees are bent. Keep your shoulders back. Your palms are up. Your fingers are spread. You can keep it here, or if you need more, tuck your, your fingers under your toes. Press down with your feet. Also do this on your knees up to you. And release. We're taking both feet back. And now everyone has their knees on the mat. We're taking your hands now. So your fingers are facing forward and your hands are under your shoulders. You have that strong tabletop position. We're going to walk the hands now so that the fingers are pointed outward. Hands are still under your shoulders. If you're okay with that and you need more, take the fingers facing toward the back corners of your mat. And if at any time it gets to be too much, just keep the position you're in. These do get very challenging. If you need more, you're taking your fingers back to face your toes. You're holding here. If you can't get here yet, that is fine. Good, nice job. Now let's release the hands so the fingers are facing forward and lower back to your heels. Just take a few breaths here so your knees 
are to the outer edges of your mat, your toes are touching, you have your forehead on the mat, on your hands, or on a block. Just breathing. Good, let's roll through the vertebrae in your back, up to tabletop, working on bear pose, tucking your toes under, and let's lift your knees up off of your mat. So strong tabletop position, lifting your knees up. Remember, you're hovering your knees over your mat. You need them to be higher, you can take them up. You can also drop them down and lift if it's hard for you to hold up the whole time. Just getting used to this. Good. Now we're going from bear to downward dog. So press your heels in, lift your hips, and then come back down into your bear. So in bear, you're thinking about that strong tabletop. You're forward, your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are still under your hips, but they're hovering over the mat. Just take them back and forth. Downward dog and bear. Nice job. Now bear really engages your core. You should be able to feel that, especially if you're concentrating on that strong position. All right, let's drop your knees for a second. Relax your toes. Just rock your body back and forth, get loose again, and get ready for the bare bounce. So we're rolling your toes under, lifting your knees up. So you can hover or come up a little higher. We're gonna keep your right foot and left hand on the mat and kick out to the side with the left arm or left leg. And the right arm goes above you, or you can even keep it on the mat if you need it. You have a block, you can have that block under your hand. Good. Stay here. And if you're able to, let's stop. Let's switch. Rest for seconds. Shake it out. Lift those knees up. And we twist to the other side. We're keeping the right hand and left foot on your mat, kicking the right leg out. Left arm is up. Good, forward. Any way you can here, we're holding. Wonderful job, release that. Bring your knees down, shake your body out. And let's come up to downward dog. We're also adding downward dog splits today. If you're not comfortable lifting your legs up in the air, that's okay. Just keep them where they are and start from there. But toes to touch in your downward dog. We're taking your right leg up, kicking it upward. Now rotate the knee so it faces me. Nice job, release. And take it back down. Let's try it on the opposite side. If you need a break, you can come down to your mat. Rest in child's pose or just drop your knees for a second to take a deep breath. Now take your left foot up. Up as high as you can. Open that hip, rotate that knee out. Wonderful job. Release and bring it down. Paddle your heels. Again, if you need to come down, take a rest. Now toes are still together. We're taking the right leg back up. Open the knee toward me and we're gonna drop that heel down toward your hip. Yes, good. Open that hip. Wonderful job. 
And bring that leg back down to your mats, nice and slow. Pedal out if you need to. Taking the left leg up. Open and drop the heel. Deep breaths. We're not holding your breath here. Keep that breath flowing. Peace. And bring it down. All right, before the next pose, I'm going to have you just rest for a moment. If you want to be sitting back on your heels, resting here, you definitely can come back. Just focus and breathe. We're doing the same thing we just did. We're going to add the kick outs on the side. So let's come back to downward dog. We're adding on toes to touch. Bring your right leg up, rotate out, drop the heel to your hip. Wonderful job. Now we're gonna start to rotate the knee to the other side. Hands are under your shoulders and kick the leg out. So right now I have my right hand and left foot on the mat, right leg is kicked out, left arm is up or down on the mat, giving me a little support. Nice job, release the back to downward dog, pedal in. Don't forget to take those breaks if you need them. Toes to touch, left foot goes up. Doing wonderful, hang in there. Open your hips and rotate the knee out, bring your heel down. Start to drop, We're rotating that knee and keeping your left hand and right foot on the mat, left foot and right arm are off of the mat or the right hand is down. Good, hold here. Keep your belly tight. That is awesome. All right, release. And give me downward dog. Let's pedal in. How are you feeling out there? All right. We're adding to that one more time. This time we're adding pigeon pose. So we're gonna take the knee all the way through to the middle of your hands. I'll show you when we get there. So let's take downward dog, toes to touch. Bring that right leg up. Rotate the knee out, drop the heel, open that hip. And we're gonna take that knee all the way through. Taking it through to the hands. Now, if this is a hard position for you to be in, you can lay on your back and cross the right leg over the left and pull the left leg toward you. It's a figure four stretch. So the pigeon pose, which we are in right now, you can take your foot across from your knee or leave it where it is. Mine is usually back but you do want to try to settle those hips down on your mat. Your back leg is nice and long. So you can even crawl that leg back a bit, lift your chest here. And if you need more, we're walking your hands forward to elbows, or you can crawl all the way forward and take your forehead down to the mat. We're taking a few breaths here. Good, and let's crawl back. If you're in your figure four, I'll give you a moment to come back to downward dog. Or you can just start on the opposite side. <laughs> My mat's moving a little bit. Toes to touch, taking the left foot up. Rotate out, drop your heel. 
Beautiful. Let's take that knee all the way through. Wonderful. Crawl the back leg back. You can get on the mat in your figure four. If you need a little more, we're coming down to your elbows. And even more, you're crawling out. Deep breaths here. Now, usually people find one side is definitely tighter than the other. This is definitely my tighter side. It's getting better, but I still have to work on it. Deep breaths, good. And crawl back, lift the back knee. Come back into downward dog, and we're taking both feet forward now. So step through the hands. Good, relax here. Let's roll to the top. Inhale, take a slide back bend. Reach the arms up a little higher. Have that heavy tailbone. Take your hands to your heart. We're sitting back in your chair. Let's rotate. So your left elbow is on your right knee. I'm gonna try to open the chest a little more. So your left hand comes down, right arm comes up. Beautiful, let's release that. Hands to heart, taking your right elbow to your left knee now. We're still nice and low in our chair. Take the right hand down, the left arm up. Keep your hips behind your knees and your ankles under your knees. Stop this release, straighten your legs, relax your head. Let's roll up, roll nice and slow. That's so good. Inhale, lift, slide back bend. And from here, let's work on some more balance. So arms are overhead. We're gonna tabletop the right foot. So you're taking your knee up, tabletop that foot. Hold it here. We're working on our hips today, so we're gonna open the hip up. Still flexing that foot, keep those arms overhead. Bring it back to the front and down. Wonderful job. Let's take your hands down and inhale again, raise up. Slide back bend and the left foot is coming up for table topping. So flex, nice. Open that hip on the left side. And pose. Drop it down. Nice job. Let's add on to that. So inhale, lifting your arms up. Right foot is in a tabletop. Flexing that foot. Now challenging your balance a little here. If you don't trust your balance, you can grab onto a chair with your hands in front. We're taking this left or this right leg back. So the leg that's up, we're taking it back into a crescent lunge. Arms are overhead, right by your ears. Wonderful job. We're gonna pull that through again into your tabletop. Keep your belly tight. Look at one thing in front of you and take it back for that crescent lunge. Again, pull through, lift up. Awesome. Take it back to your crescent lunge. Hands come down to your mat. Let's bring your right foot forward. Roll up. Inhale. Slide back bend. Arms overhead or grabbing your chair. Bring your left foot up. Tabletop that leg. Take it straight back. And up, tabletop. Straight back. 
and up. Straight back. Last time, lift up. All right, lower the leg, lower the arms. How did you do? Shake out your body a little bit. Wonderful job. Let's inhale and exhale. Forward fold. And let's take both feet back into a plank. So we weren't on our belly much today, but we will be next week, I promise. So let's just work on your plank for a second here. Spread your fingers, grab your glute muscles and your abdominal muscles and fire them both up. Make sure you're pressing back with your heels. We're gonna press straight back with the heels. So let's do that eight times, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, stop. Drop down and let's settle back to your heels. One last bear pose. So let's get in our strong tabletop position, roll the toes under, hover those knees and hold. Really squeeze your belly button to your spine here. Good job, drop your knees. Let's take the legs to the front. The legs come all the way out. We're flexing your toes, we're inhaling. Exhale and reach forward. Inhale. Exhale and reach forward. Now we're still working on your core, pulling your knees into your chest. Let's lift the feet off of your mat with your chest pulled up. Nice job. Now we're tapping the toes down, lifting up. If you're not comfortable here, your hands can be on your mat. You can lay back. Your goal is to get your shins parallel to the floor when you lift your legs up. Keep your chest up. You're breathing here. Really keep everything tight. Create space between your ears and your shoulder. And one challenge here, we're holding. Hold, hold, hold. Good, keep your belly tight. Drop your feet, straighten your legs, and let's reach one more time. Right to the toes. And start to roll back to your mat. Pulling back, your chin is tucked in. One vertebrae is hitting the mat at a time. Reaching your arms overhead. Taking a full body stretch here. And let's pull the left knee into your chest. Noticing here that your right foot should be pointing toward the ceiling. And let's allow that knee to fall to the outside. Still flexing the foot, keeping the right shoulder on your mat. Now release and take that leg straight up. Point and flex your foot. And let's flex. Start to drop the leg and cross it over your body. Keeping the left shoulder on your mat, we're reaching back. 
and taking your gaze back. And release. Straighten out the left leg, flex the foot. Bring that right knee in. That nice stretch. And allow the knee to fall, flex in the foot. And Let's release and straighten that leg up, pointing and flexing the foot. Let's flex and allow that foot to drop to the opposite side. I have closet here, but if you're able to do that, take it all the way out your right shoulder on your mat and gaze at the right hand. And good job, let's release. Pulling both knees into your chest and let's take a circle. And circle in the opposite direction. Uh, allow your feet to hit the mat, extend your legs out. Arms separate from your body, toes fall to the side and just relax in Shavasana. Just for the next couple minutes. Keep your mind clear. Just melt into your mat. Start to bring life back into your fingers and toes. Start to slowly move your arms and legs. Let's roll on your right side. And we press to a seated position. Against the heart. And we end this evening with a deep cleansing breath. And by saying Namaste, the light in me honors the light in you. Thank you all very much for joining me for our fourth session. Five and six are to come. So the same time, same place, and the same link next Tuesday. I will see you here at 7 p.m. Thank you again so much. Enjoy your week. Bye.